Hey everybody! Hey guys! Good morning, good afternoon, good night, depending on where you are in the world. <laughs> Welcome back to another Magilla video. Today we're going to be reacting to the final episode of Marvel Studios' Miss Marvel. This show has been such a pleasant surprise, a fantastic journey, and we were left with quite a horrible but epic cliffhanger. Yeah. Uh, by horrible, I mean we want to know what happens next. So, we're very eager to jump in. Uh, this episode is nine minutes longer than the last one, so hopefully we're going to get a little bit more. A little bit more. And uh, there's a lot to, to wrap up, so we cannot wait to see what this final clash between Damage Control and Kamala looks like. Yeah. Actually. So uh, thank you for joining us today. Hope you guys enjoy our reaction Let's to go. episode six of Miss Marvel. Let's do this thing. Finale time, friends. Here we go. It's been such a great show. Mm -hmm. I didn't see how long this is. Nine minutes long. Oh, I want this kid taken alive. Oh, we can figure out what the hell he is. That was your drone. Yeah, not mine. Yeah. Right. Damage control. They're coming. Come on. Stop right there. there. Oh, sorry. Watch where you're going. Oh, oh man. Whoa. He has like no yeah, control over. I think it. what his mom just gave to him with no instructions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like there's all this power. You yeah. don't know how to use it. It's like it's like getting an IKEA bed set and you're just like, but there's no, no instructions. <laughs> <laughs> I am the white girl. You're what? <laughs> Night light. Oh my god! I had no idea. <laughs> She tells that boo. And we over here because he always has his phone on speaker. <laughs> on Eid, did you drop that kid on purpose or was that like a game time decision? <laughs> I mean he did steal um, yeah, yeah. some shoes, so just because you you can do all these amazing things doesn't mean that you actually volunteer to go looking for trouble, right? I worry, Peter. I just worry too much. Mm. I don't think you raised me to sit by and do nothing when I can help you. And we trust her, right? Mm. <laughs> uh, that is so why cool. Why not give FaceTime me? <laughs> Have you heard from Bruto? No. Why? I've been trying to get a hold of him because Circle Q exploded. Oh man. Go time. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Dang, dude. Oh. I got something for you. Uh, well... Wait, her mom? Wait, how did yes. she do that so fast? Well, she prepared the food fast. That's true. She's yeah. a legend. Maybe she's got superpowers she of skin. She made a super Hulk It's milk toffees, guys. Yeah. <gasps> what? Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Dude. How beautiful that mom was giving this to her. I was not expecting And that's Red Dagger's scar. Oh, the music. Wow. That's so special, dude. Yeah, yeah. Man. Oh, you don't wow. see that often. The superheroes, no, mom making their costume for them. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> oh, yes. oh yes. Dude, That is so she badass. She just runs on the sky. She just runs. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> such a cool <laughs> detail. <laughs> Why? What house is the worshiper supposed to offer sanctuary? <laughs> <laughs> That's. Dude, they're fast. How did they get there so fast? Their damage controlling. It's annoying. I'm telling you, it's like a comic. How fast to get to these places? <laughs> mm -hmm. Good afternoon. I'm gonna take off see everybody. She didn't take off her shoes. I'm not even concerned if God yeah. is on my side, as long as she I am very on cool his here. side. For God is always right. I don't have time for crying. Mm -hmm. like Excuse me. Actually, that was Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> her silhouette is so like mm -hmm. uh, prominent. Yeah, commanding. Yeah. The way her hair is back. So it's commanding. Cool. Boating. Uh, you can't go this way. Boating. Boating. Um, it's holy. Toilet paper. Kick it in. Uh, uh, do, 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 um. Please don't hurt him. He's a really nice guy. <laughs> oh no. My mom would kill me. <laughs> <laughs> that one. Did you hear that? I'm her boyfriend. Do you have a body cam? I'd love to have this one. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> he saves the day. <laughs> yes. yes. That was great. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. You need a disguise. <laughs> the hats. <laughs> <laughs> that is that's Not amazing. Really a dis- oh, there she is. Man, wow. She's got a workout. Whoa, that was a cool. Bruno is. <laughs> what are you guys wearing? What do you wear? He is not okay. Oh no. You look like I'm being crushed from the inside out. That's horrible, dude. How do you fix that? Get up, get up! Come on. He doesn't know anything, man. Mm. About his mom. Gosh, and now everyone's after him. <laughs> Come on! Hi. Are you mad at are you mad at me? Well, I mean, I tell you everything, and this is the biggest thing that's ever happened to you, and you didn't tell me, so I mean maybe. Okay, but you I missed you. I'm sorry. Oh my Dude, gosh. What the heck? They tried to trick me into giving you up. And I owe you for saving my life. <laughs> Kamal is like, what is going on right now? Mm -hmm. This is the plan. Since DODC is already here, we obviously can't outrun them, so we distract and stall for as long as possible until we can get Cameron safe. Got it? Well, that's okay. so cool. We'll keep him busy while you run out the back. What are you doing here? <laughs> Mom, send me to watch out for you. Mm, superheroes don't need chaperones. Take it up with her. Guys, clock's ticking. <laughs> Yeah. There you go. Safety first. Hey. Smart. Nice job. You not get grab as many balls as you can. That's a sick shot. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. We are going to stall damage control with softballs, and the real plan is a. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, man! All this for two high schoolers. Yeah. <laughs> oh. the music yeah, the music's the, fantastic the lasers yeah looks like a rave party <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's so i'm at cole's high school where damage control is me and my friends totally surrounded because people are super scary and they're just not backing <laughs> down please you have to help us they're gonna swap probably yeah, yeah. that is so scary that he's on maybe yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so sick, dude. Whoa. This is a well thought out plan. It's like Home Alone. Yeah. 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 Basically. Booby trap. <laughs> Elephant oh, Elephant face. <laughs> face. Wow, that's a lot. Oh, dang. That's dude. <laughs> Ooh. Oof. Almost got hit by that. Oh. Hey, you guys gotta... Oh. <sighs> oh no. Pain. At least he got his name right. Yeah. Dude, that sucks. Guys, come dance with me! <laughs> <laughs> hey guys! What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh no! Oh no! Ah! Wow. Oh my gosh. I love his song. <laughs> no, behind you! Oh no! Ow! Ow! What happened to my mom? Oh! Jeez! Gosh, I can't get a moment! Dang! Ow! Gross! My mom is dead. Isn't she? Those things are bad, bro. If you get hit by that. Oh, oh. no. Oh. 
get on your knees. <laughs> Cinematography of the show yeah. is top notch, oh dude. One of the best that I've seen in the MCU. Oh my god. She is powerful, man. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Oh, this lady. Oh, oh, she's stressing me out. Whoa. Whoa. The music, right? Yes. Look at everything I've done, Kamala. What am I supposed to do now? How can I be normal? There's just us, and what we do with what we've been given. Get to the harbor. I'll buy you time. So is fantastic. Yeah. Wait, did she just build him a tunnel? Yeah. Basically. <laughs> Dang, dude. She's powerful. Mm -hmm. Wow. They're on with you. Step aside, Sergeant. No, 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 no. You stop right there. Go. You just try to help. <laughs> so if you guys keep fighting, I'm gonna yeah. I'm a dip. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that means that you're relieved of your duty. A union's coming to fix your mess. Get out of there now. <laughs> Damn. Damn. At least it's good to know that they're not trying to do this. <laughs> yeah. They're just, it's just, just, like just a, this agent. Yeah. Bit ambitious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shaking. You can see. <laughs> she looks so familiar. He's wild, bitch. He's just doing Paul. Oh, man. My heart was racing, was so my life <laughs> flashing before my eyes. <laughs> I sat there and watched. Not you by him to declare to the world. She was my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> it was really cool. cool. She's a freaking action superhero. <laughs> <laughs> Sounded like the Sonic kid. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, Matt. <laughs> Wanna oh, hear the song? What song? Mm. Good song. Yeah, it's, it's a good, good song. song. Way to go, come on. <sighs> She's looking at herself in the mirror again. This is great, man. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> this is great, man. <laughs> Tosh, you said it, dude. She's gonna lead the. Yeah. She is, I mean, a role model. Oh, yeah. This is really scary. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see people, Kamala? Oh, Caltech. He never told her. That's right, he's going to California. And if you saved one life... Yeah, come on. Well, you saved the world. <laughs> oh, this is so sick, though. Mm. Do you know why we named you Kamala? Your mother and I tried for years to have a second child. It almost lost all hope, and then you came. That's what Kamala means in Arabic, perfect. But in Urdu it's more like uh, marble. Kamal means marble. 
What? You share the same name as your freaking dad. <laughs> <laughs> you sure are, and always have been, our own little Miss Mom. Hmm. <laughs> her dad gives her a ring. Gosh, this is crazy. Well. Ah. Wow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this show, man. Oh man. man. The mom makes the suit. The dad gives her the name. Wow. So beautiful. Every single piece yeah. of that suit means something, not only to her, but to us. Like, we know... Yeah. We know the journey. Yep. They gave her, like, a full-on... The show was incredible. No. It was marvelous. Yes. Whoa! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> One week later. Oh, oh transition. Oh. Time jump. Come on. Left his car. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> he got his Porsche. I, for one, think that it looks much better on the streets of Jersey City. Yes, I, I for two. No, no, I for three. This. Th <laughs> 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 Amir kept asking if he might have powers too. We know why you have access to the Noir and how you can wield it, but when I compared you to the rest of your family, something still seemed off. Kamala, there's something different in your genes. Oh. Like... A mutation? A mutation. Like a mutation. Oh! Oh! <laughs> he said it! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> Chills. Goosebumps. Yes. Whatever it is, it's just gonna be another life. Oh my god! <laughs> oh no! Oh, she is the first. She is. She's, yeah, uh, she's the I mean, the first official, like. like that's the oh first time god, in the MCU history. history. We've heard that, that word. That we that heard mutation. mutation. Oh. That makes this. <laughs> Dude, this is this just got real. This like, just got real. A mutation, Bruno, for you to be able to, like the first one to say mutation in Oh my gosh, dude, dude this is dude. huge. Well, that does not sound like science or Okay. <gasps> oh. The oh. signal. What is Maybe? that? What is it doing? Some sort of <laughs> Whoa! <gasps> what is what? Mm. Whoa! <laughs> wow! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, can I kind of kick things off by congratulating <laughs> yeah, you? Yeah, I love you. <laughs> oh man, dude, that my so goodness awesome. Man. Well, to start. Uh, Again, to share this show with all of you is just such a gift, and I'm so happy that I can and that we all can. Being part of the show is uh, such a blessing. Obviously, shooting the finale stuff with the battle, a lot of it is just imagining what's there. So to see all of it, like, so to see it all come together is just fantastic. And this show as a whole, just, I think just the pacing was so, so well done. Yeah. Um, the directing from Adil and Bilal was, is just incredible. Um, they, they did so well. Um, they obviously brought their own style into this one, but like you said, across the board, the cinematography in the show yeah. was fantastic. Oh yeah, it's tremendous. One and of my favorite everybody. shots. Uh, speaking of cinematography, game. was was on point. And I think you called it right as I was about to say something. So anyway, I'm sorry to. No, 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 no. That yeah. it's just you know you really see their their style come through, and it was a it was such a such an honor and an amazing thing to work with. You know the different directors and to see the different styles and how they you can really see each director's I believe footprint in each episode. Which is really great. Mm -hmm. um, and again, fantastic job to Aman, Rish, Matt, Yasmin, Laurel, everyone. Everyone brought their A game. Now we're really starting to see, I feel, where Phase Four is going. Um, where it's gonna they're, like, they're start having these, from. I guess. Yeah. Um, Kate Bishop's there. Spider Man's there. Yeah. Like it's it. New York City is like starting to it's like build up. Like is like the hub right now of where a lot of the superheroes are. That we know of, and if if it's not there, then it's, you know, on yeah. some other galaxy or, yeah. um, you know, at the end of time. And what I'm so curious about, maybe it's just an overthinking, and maybe they were just throwing it out there to maybe possibly have something. But one, the Ten Rings, right? Yeah. So that mm. there's a connection to Shang Chi, but then at the end credits, not end credits, but like at the end of the movie, maybe end credits, I forgot. But that little thing with the Ten Rings, how one of them was like sharing a beacon or something like mm. that, like there was a like a signal. So I don't know if that's what that was. I don't know. It's just it's curious as to if they're trying to tie that together. Hmm. How are they going to be connected, and will we ever see? 
it become connected? I think I, everything has been intentional, I, I think. So yeah. I believe they probably will connect I, it. Because if so, um, that's very exciting. I Image Control will connect to She-Hulk. But yeah, I, but I just, just as this show uh, on its own, like... It was so... I loved the whole family aspect in this episode. Mm, yeah. Especially mm-hmm. with the mom. I, I said it earlier when we were reacting, but the mom giving her the suit and the dad giving her the name she's always had in their hearts. Yeah. So I think it was so beautiful that no matter the um, this drastic change in her, you know, she has these powers and, and she's not normal anymore. But, you know, the truth is that she's never been just normal. She's been mm-hmm. her unique self, um for for her whole life you know yeah. um loving superheroes just making youtube videos the friends she has like she's her own unique person and so i think it was truly beautiful to see an extension of herself kind of like um how in black panther there's like a whenever you get the the black panther like powers mm-hmm. it's an extension of you it's like an extension captain of america too captain america yeah, yeah. And so I think that was really cool to see. Like and like you just said, bro, the the Captain America parallels um, have been immense. So I do feel that she will be a big part of leadership in the um, the later in the new Young Avengers. Yeah, it takes me back to that quote about what you're seeking is seeking you. Yeah, mm-hmm. and the fact that maybe she already had that mutation and she was already that superhero. Um, but she's always been seeking it, and it's always been seeking her as well. And I feel mm. like in, in, internally she probably sensed or just felt that there was more. And I think mm-hmm. that was her gravitation towards the love for superheroes. Mm. I mean, to now, like, even physically becoming her, like we saw at the end. <laughs> yeah, that like, was... what is that all about? Like, I'm crazy. super excited. The family aspect, the fact that her costume was made in Pakistan as well. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, it's just so great. I'm very yeah. happy that they're doing this with, like, Miss Marvel and, you know, ha- leaning in more to the Marvels and, like, Captain Marvel because I really feel like her movie was robbed of, like, her full story and we didn't really get to meet her like we met Miss Marvel, you know? So, like, to kind of... In, to meet like, her again. To get to know yeah. her more is going to be very exciting. You know, She was squeezed in to- there before Endgame. Yeah, yeah. so mm. I'm excited to see what Captain Marvel becomes and who she really is that we weren't able to yeah. see at first. The Marvels so. is definitely going to be interesting. We still got some time until it, it comes <clears> out <throat> next year. Mm-hmm. And um, we don't know but... who the who that group was that was trying to catch her. Yeah, yeah that's, 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 that's damage the, control. That's the damage group. control. It's the same that's... ones from Spider-Man No Way Home. Yeah, they're going to be... Also I thought the same they were like from... a secret they, entity. They that's... sort of are. That's why them going out there and causing all that mess that's was such a big problem. Deaver, Deaver seemed to have something else going on. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's why I felt like a different group because... Like, the, they want to control them or learn about them for a bigger reason. Like, they wanted to catch them. Yeah. Because they're kids and they have powers. Like, they wanted to capture them and kind of learn more about them to be able to control what they do. Mm-hmm. And I just don't know what. Yeah, there's I wonder, something I wonder there. if Deaver's like a scroll or something. I don't know. It's That'd something, be interesting. I'm, I'm curious to see where, you know, what that organization's all about. Maybe but she went Eric against, Boss would help us out. Either. Yeah, yeah, seriously. But she went against orders. Like, she was not following orders at all. That other agent, I forget his name, the one we saw in No Way Home. No Way Home. And yeah. in this as well. He's He wasn't for that. He, that's not what he wanted. There are the people we also saw in Homecoming. Yeah, Homecoming, where they're cleaning up the, the rubble. They took, you know, the vulture's job. They're cleaning up from the you know, from what I remember from the battle in New York. So mm-hmm. they've been a thing yeah. and they're all about, again, controlling the damage and they wanted to control the situation with Spider-Man and once again, trying to control certain things. But like you said, I think Deaver being part of damage control, she probably had an ulterior motive that she kind of took advantage of her position. Obviously, Guy relived the duty, so she doesn't work with them anymore. Mm-hmm. But I have a feeling this may not be the last time we see her. Mm-hmm. And what I'm loving about the way this all ends is it's, it's very open-ended. I mean... We have now, like, they're, they're leaving space for more character development. You have Bruno going to Caltech. So he's in California amongst Shang-Chi and different uh, oh, Ant-Man. Yeah. Oh, my Ant-Man. God. I didn't yeah. realize they're Ant-Man. in California. <laughs> Ant-Man is in San Francisco. So there's... Hold on. Before you move on, Bruno's also the first one to talk about mutation. Or the first one to, yeah, acknowledge to see it. it. To, to Well, acknowledge it, but he's picked up on a very different thing. Well, remember in WandaVision, though, too, with Monica... Right, but they, uh, yeah, but, <clears throat> but her brother was like her, so no one was looking into genetics. Right. There was no there was no reason to inquire on it. I wonder how that's going to then lead, you know, these two sides to unite and the fact that Bruno's 
going over there. Yeah. I think there's going to be something there. Then you have Kamran in Pakistan so... with Red Dagger. There's just a lot of open-ended. So it'd be great to see these characters pop up again. Yes, That's especially sure. Miguel. <laughs> yes. I would love to see what happens with Miguel. Oh, with Nakia man. and Miguel. That, that would was be amazing. fantastic. <laughs> but the way it all worked out and the way it all played out was, was But awesome. just, you know, candidly here with, with this video, I think we were kind of waiting till the very end of the season and, and you know, respecting the, the nerves that go into being in a show and not knowing what's going to come out and wanting yeah. to experience it with you and for you and, like, as, you know, part of our family unit. And I think now that we're done, it's kind of like we can exhale mm -hmm. and just kind of like, okay. Yes. You know, we were able to to see the you know the blessing it was, but also to be able to capture to see that they've captured a lot of your your work on there, yeah. which was exciting for us. Yeah, it was so, really really I great. I think also what's beautiful as you. well, and I did mm -hmm. want to like give you guys our Indian audience a shout out because if it wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't be so like in love and in admiration of this culture that you guys have mm -hmm. from Pakistan, from India, like. Just yep. in general, this beautiful culture that you guys have, the dance sequences, the mentions to big actors from the movies, like we don't, we wouldn't know what those are if it mm -hmm. wasn't for you guys. Just so the songs thank you guys. Well. Yeah, the songs. Yeah. So thank you for your persistence. Um, thank you for your passionate support. <clears throat> and we just, yeah, we thank you guys. I've Things honestly loved, even in watching Indian cinema, but highlighted here, how much of our cultures are the same. Yeah. Our Latino culture, our family is values. so, family values is so important. Yeah. And the kind of conversations that Kamala has with her mom and her dad, that's, that's how we are. Like we, we, we get deep, we're silly. We, we're very, we we're kind of a little invasive sometimes <laughs> of each other's space. We worry but the, We even, worry. Even like, <laughs> even in the episode with the, um, was it Eden, they were outside with the, you know, the whole, um, kid almost falling from the tower yeah. thing. Um, you know, with the Aluma aunties, like we, we have, there's groups and families in our Colombian <laughs> circle that we could associate or that remind us of certain things. I'm not saying directly to my aunts and to the people I know that you guys are like Aluma aunties. That's not no, what I'm saying, but, not but you. you can see those, like those, those groups and it's very familiar. You know, I, I know even in India and Pakistan, like there are obviously things that people would, I'm sure, say that separate them and that make them unique for very important reasons. But uh, to that point, there's still a lot that a lot of people, a lot of people can relate to. Um, so yeah, it's a universal universal of, themes of, of universal family, themes of, and of family and unity and like you were saying in the last episode, something to strive towards, something to look up to. Um, you know, the kind of acceptance and embrace that and support that that Kamala's family gave her is, I think, a lot of a lot of times. Yes, superheroes tend to kind of keep their identity to protect the people they love, but also because they don't know how their loved ones would react. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of the showing us what would happen and. And to have a family and people around you that take you in and support you and help you along that journey. Because yeah. I can imagine. I mean, it's been terrifying for her. Mm -hmm. um, she's been through a lot in this whole series. So to have people around you that support you in that way is such a, a special thing. And from such a special root and special foundation, I think Miss Marvel's story is just going to continue to blossom and be one of the one, one of the best, greatest yeah. and, and unique stories that we've seen in the MCU the so layable, far. Yeah. It's it, it felt like historical fiction, especially in the last episode. And if you saw my reaction to that, I love that. And this one very much kind of brought it all together. We got a lot of that Marvel cinematic universe, all the great fights and the chases. And we see our hero master. I mean, I was taken back to episode two or one, whatever it was. And she couldn't she could barely land on like a three foot drop mm -hmm. yeah. or two foot drop with, with Bruno helping her. And it, so the the scale of the story went from so intimate to this very eccentric kid like you were talking about josh hmm. about her feeling like she needs to be a little bit different to be a little bit better and and yet she was exactly what she needed to be yeah. to be who she was always dreaming of being and hmm. and what an image there at the end when she gets surrounded by this this community of people her family her friends people who who will stand by her you know and protect her because of of what she's what she represents and what she's about which is you know, a, a very selfless person, a very, a person driven with a sense of hope, a sense of justice. And all of that is, is that's what resonates with us, with all of us. Mm -hmm. and, and I think, I think that's what makes the show so, so poignant, especially the fact that she's so young and she, like the other young ones that we've seen, will take us into the next phase 
of storytelling. I mean, she's, she's I mean, more it's... she's more fit to be a leader, I believe, <clears throat> than Kate Bishop right now, than Peter Parker. Uh, she is the one I see is more fit to do yeah. such a thing. Yeah. Um, she may disagree uh, but initially. She yeah. may not think that she has that, right. but Which primarily... in terms of in terms of the traits, not to say that Kate Bishop and Peter Parker may not, as a young woman, she might be teaching uh, in the Marvels this more. The marvels of even though Carol Danvers is out there saving other universes, you know, you you have someone that's down to earth, somebody that's grounded, that has, mm -hmm. you know, family values, um, love, and just you know this this strength about her that I think Carol Danvers, somebody that flies around all the time to really bring her down to earth and to remind <laughs> her that there is such a thing yeah. as you know caring about somebody, you know, yeah. not just floating from galaxy to galaxy. Yeah. So I think. That's the content there is very exciting. I think her superpower is love and family. Um, and I think any superhero who has that backing could be very mm -hmm. much a leader. Um, I think she has that in her favor. What a way to start your powers <laughs> and your superhero-ness. Mm -hmm. Then to have your family and friends like support you and back you up and, and help you. Uh, I'm excited to see where she goes. Yeah. And... and, well, and oh, go yeah. No, I was just going to say too is... Um, you know, you have these superheroes that try to hold back um, their identity from, you know, all these other people to protect the ones they love. And but you know, I, I feel like the the stronger heroes uh, they eventually tell the people that they love, and it gets them in danger. Yes, but it's you know those are the people that are worth fighting for. You mm -hmm. know, and I think that makes the stronger hero. Like yeah. the whole time, Captain America is fighting for you know um, his his date, his girlfriend, his. The one that he loves. And even though he can't be with her, he still fights for her. Yeah. No, and, and to, to add on to what you're saying, and to kind of go back to the whole possible mutant Easter, you know, at the end there. Yeah. If you think about how all of this laid out, how all of this played out for her, you know, is it, it's kind of foreshadowing. Because if you think about the mutants, there's no way of hiding you're a mutant. Like, it's, mm -hmm. it's there's the yeah. mutants that's always been, that's different too, is their identity... <laughs> It's very, it's hard, very to hard, hard to hide. <laughs> like you are a mutant, and just clear that separation. People, what do we do with the mutants? Like what, what do they, where do they fit in, in in society? So for her, for everyone around her to know who she is, that's possible. Like foreshadowing how it's going to be for the rest of the mutants, and we're going to go into new territory where people are known, and it's it's not such a Spider-Man type deal where you're you know the masked the masked hero or the masked vigilante. It's it's just very exciting because. That last moment with Bruno <laughs> is setting up a lot, and uh, yeah, we that, have Comic Con especially since it was like the soon, last. So. And this is yeah, like <clears throat> you said right before Comic Con, so it's almost like Kevin Feige saying, "Get ready, because <laughs> yeah. yeah. oh, it's, yeah, it's coming. Yeah. Yeah. It's coming. Oh, so yeah. it's it's all very exciting. Yeah. It's also a huge inspiration for us to just be ourselves. You know, mm. this actress, she was just genuinely being her authentic, true self, and. She just brought, I feel like, so much of her into this character, mm -hmm. which brought so much, uh, you know, just made Miss Marvel come to life. So yeah. she did a fantastic job. Mm -hmm. And it's just inspiring all of us to just, you know, don't be ashamed of who you are, you know, love yourself. And it's all that good, <laughs> mushy stuff that you yeah, need more of. Like mushy. So yeah. No, it's, it's, it's super inspiring. And again, once again, this show was such a perfect blend of. Mm -hmm. Staying true to what needs to happen for the MCU, but also every episode and every director, cinematographer, being able to to put their artistic flair. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, and keep it, was, it smooth at the same time. And, right, and culture and identity. Um, I just love that. I loved that and how it was just a beautiful blend. It, it worked perfectly in my opinion. It was opinion, so character so. driven, you know. Mm -hmm. It wasn't it wasn't plot driven. Where like you know you had you go through a show and then that's it. It's done. You know, I, I'd I'd want to see more about of these characters. You know, Bruno. Yeah. Nokia, Miss um, Marvel, obviously, you know, I just, I would love to see more of them. Mm -hmm. So I think that's, that's a really positive sign. Yeah. It's so yeah. awesome. It's exciting, man. Yeah. Like, Marvel, for, uh, for the future, it's yes. been so great to share the show with you guys and to watch it alongside you. Mm -hmm. Again, I'm super grateful that I got to work on the show and I get to share all of this with you. It's been kind of like a biting my tongue every time <laughs> we talked about it until then, but I'm glad that it's out and we get to just talk about this show and how amazing it is. And it was, again, a huge blessing to work with these amazing people. They're all just super humble and just super passionate about the story. To see them all mm -hmm. come to life and be so devoted to their work, to their craft. Yeah. They all shine so well. Oh, yeah. And a uh, quick shout out to Paul. Me and yes. Paul had, yes. our, had our, all of our scenes mostly together on... Uh -huh. 
That TikTok great buddy was of mine. Yeah, that was fantastic. That was really absolutely awesome. hilarious. The best TikTok. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, and again, just huge thank you. And um, I just am so excited for the future, for the future of the MCU and all the stuff that we get to watch and, and experience alongside all of you. So thank you for joining us on this Marvel series of Miss Marvel. And we want to hear your thoughts down below in the comments of this episode of the show, what you're feeling and thinking about Kamala's possible uh, mutant affiliation ah it's it's fantastic so you want to hear your thoughts down below we'd love to connect with all of you and to tell us what were your favorite moments of this episode and and why and what about this show impacted you we'd love to hear all of it and if you're enjoying what we're doing on this channel you guys can check out more magic content down below in the link in the description or with this card up above and uh, your support on patreon monthly would help us to create more videos to send them out your way to get an editor so we can get more videos out your way, but not only get more videos out your way, but also be able to kind of uh, balance the work that we have with reactions. Right now, I'm the one editing all the videos, which I absolutely love to do, but time-wise, it's hard to get this kind of work and creative work to get it done at the same time. So it would just help kind of take some stuff off of my plate and give it to somebody else, and then we can start working a little bit more and get more creative content out your way. As a family of artists and actors, we have a lot of projects and things that we are dying to share with all of you. We've and got ideas, we've got thoughts. We got some things that we want to share with all of you. So, you know, we have some things you can check out already, again, with the link in the description or with the card above. But we have things that we'd love to share with you and that takes, that takes time to, to develop and things. So your support would definitely help those things happen. They're already happening and moving, but your support would help that process accelerate and make it happen and make it more of a reality. Mm -hmm. um, because, you know, working on a show like this is such a gift and such a blessing. And it was so great. And, and God knows I'd love to, it, it'd be such a joy to go, to go back and, and to enter into Miguel's shoes. But there is something extremely magical and special about creating our own content, about creating our own stories, and 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 doing that as a family. It's just mm. a really awesome thing. So yep. if you guys want to be a part of that, you want to become official producers of our channel, of our creative content, just check out those links. And uh, regardless of you guys being here today, it means so much to us. We're extremely grateful for every single one of you. Go out there, spread your light, and we'll see you guys in the next Magilive video. Have a Magilive day. Bye. Bye.